Hello investors, traders and market club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club with your market update for Friday the 13th of December. Before I go any further, I'd just like to thank all the members who participated in our Q&A session. I'm very excited about this feature on our blog and lots of great questions and that's the whole purpose. So all you have to do is really just go to this area right here and ask about any market and get an answer. It's just that simple. Only on the members blog you can get this. So if you're not a member, maybe you should consider joining in 2014. It's a very, very good and useful function to find out about the markets and what you should be doing in them. So let's move on to our next market. So here we are. We're going to start with the Dow. Now the Dow had a signal yesterday and I can put that in right here. You can see it just clicked in right there and that's at 15,791 indicating that the intermediate term trend was negative. Now I think that could be you know, potentially we could see the market come down even further, but the reality is you've got a couple of very positives in my mind on this market and they are the support, the previous resistance should now become support. So if you just draw this from here across these lines here, you're sort of right back to that area. So this is where the market should begin to find support. I think the, the Fibonacci retracement levels of 38 and 50 and 61 I'm not sure they're going to be hit, but a little bit concerning to us is the fact that the RSI is dipped below the 50 line, very similar to when it dipped below the 50 line here and again here. So we may see a move back down to those lower support levels for the market. So let's move on. Pretty much the same picture with the S&P 500. Uh, the difference there is that you haven't come down quite so far, but there was a signal yesterday at 1,777. Um, you can see it right there on the chart. That's the first one we've had since this point right here. So indicating that maybe on the intermediate term basis, we're going to see a little more weakness or a little more back and forth between the markets. But longer term, the green monthly trade triangle is still positive, indicating that the big trend, the major trend is still positive in the securities markets. Looking at NASDAQ, it's a little different picture. Notice we have two green triangles indicating that we haven't had the signal yet in this market. That could be helped obviously with Netflix and some of the other high-flying markets we've been talking about all year like Amazon and also Apple of course. But generally speaking, the trend is your friend and the trend clearly in this picture is on the upside. You can just see the fact that we just moved higher. We still think we can see this market have a Santa Claus rally towards the end of the year. Now that's rapidly coming up so this market has to do something along those lines pretty quickly. Looking at something we haven't looked at before, uh, but this is the dollar yen. As weak as the dollar is, the Japanese yen is actually weaker. And you can see we've had a nice move on our weeklies. Now we use the dailies and the weeklies for trading currencies because it's a shorter game. And you can see we had a signal yesterday at 103.33 right here, indicating that the market is going high. It's 102, 103.22 right now. So I think for the week it's closing higher definitely like this market on the long side being long dollars short Japanese yen. But wait, there's an even better trade in my mind and that is being long the euro short the Japanese yen. The euro, if you look at our euro chart against the dollar, the euro is actually going, the dollar is going down against the euro or the euro is going up depending on how you look at it. But generally speaking, the euro is a stronger currency right now than the dollar. So you want to be in the strongest and short the weakest and that's exactly what you have in this chart so you can see the move there it's been a nice move up the last signal came at 139.93 it's 141.85 so you can see how this works generally speaking we expect this market to go higher in fact we're looking for the dollar yen to possibly go another 10 or 15 percent lower in regards to the dollar going higher against the yen. So it's a lower yen, higher dollar. Just looking at the euro US dollar, which is what we normally look at, a little bit of pullback uh, signaling to exit position, but this is not to be unexpected given the fact that we're right up against this previous resistance right here. But look, we're over the 50 line in the RSI. Our trade triangles, both the weekly and the monthly, still positive. So this is just a very, very short term signal. Looking at gold, this is very interesting because you have a situation where this potentially could be very positive in 2014. It's not there yet because all of our trade channels right here are all negative, but this is the key level. These, these levels that we're sort of butting against here, if this level holds, 
then I think we're going to see this market go higher in 2014. But we need to see a lot of things happen before we get excited about being long gold. Right now, the trend is clearly down, but we're absolutely close to a very important support level right here. So this is something to watch in 2014, in my mind. Looking at crude oil, we had a nice move in crude oil. It moved to the levels we expected it to. This is We're looking at the February contract. We've jan we moved out of the January contract. Now you can see this is a 55 indicating a trading range. Now you can see the monthly is down and the weekly is up, indicating a trading range. We're coming back down to the 50 line right here on the RSI. This is a very interesting point. The ideas behind the RSI is when you're up against these, this sort of 50s, like the halfway line, like in football. Generally speaking, you can see every time we bumped up against the 50 line, and this is from this sort of period here, it indicated that the, the resistance level was there and the market eventually turned down and continued to turn down. Now going through and being down here is very oversold, of course, but this is where we've gone through the 50 line on the upside indicating the trend is still positive, but we're coming back down. Once we get down to the 50 line here, if we don't go through it in a meaningful way, it's going to find support. This market should find support, and we still think it's going to have another leg up to maybe higher levels. We're looking at very cold weather here on the East Coast. So that's about it for uh, our markets. I hope you all have a great weekend, and be sure to check out our Q&A section on the blog. That's ask about any market and get an answer. Hey, I'm Adam Hewis and have a great weekend everybody. Look forward to answering your questions when they come in. Enjoy. You can find Adam Hewison as a regular contributor on Bloomberg, Business News Network, CNBC, and Fox Business News.